Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and I wanted to go over how do you find fractions on a number line. Maybe you think you learned this in elementary school, but I'm thinking maybe you didn't, so let's go over it. If I was given a number line that looked like this, and I was told that I needed to put these on the number line somewhere, the first thing I would do is I would look at the denominator of the, the fractions, and they're all halves. So I would take this number line and I would break it up into halves. This is um, like um, a rectangle. You used to have to draw it in, in half and label it. Well, it's the same thing with a number line. I'm going to use this to help me kind of figure out how to divide it up. So now each of the lines between the integers is now divided into halves. So zero is zero halves, right? It's nothing. And this would be one half. If this is no halves, this is one half, and this would be two halves. And the numerator and denominator are the same, so this number would be 1. Well, now let's talk about the opposites. The opposite of 1 half would be negative 1 half. Remember, it has the same absolute value, um, and they're on opposite sides of the number line. So this is the opposite of this, and this is the opposite of that. And the opposite of negative 1 would be negative 2 halves. Okay, and so over here, now I've done 1 half, 2 halves, so this would be 3 halves, and this would be 4 halves, right? 1 half, 2 half, 3 halves, 4 halves. These are improper fractions. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. So I could actually go ahead and divide this using this fraction um, line as a division sign, and I would get 1 and 1 half. And doesn't, doesn't that look right? If this is 1, wouldn't this be 1 and 1 half? 3 halves would be that. And then 4 halves, well, isn't that the same as saying 2? Because if you did 4 divided by 2, wouldn't that be 2? Okay, and so if you have negative, if you have 3 halves here, the opposite would be negative 3 halves and negative 1 and 1 half. And then if you have 2 over here, the opposite would be of 4 halves would be negative 4 halves. Okay, same thing here. The first thing I do is I see that the denominator is in thirds, so the line needs to be broken up into thirds. And I'm going to put it between 0 and 1, and I'm going to use this to help me figure out how to divide it. Okay, I'm going to move it over here. It's the same, again, as taking a rectangle that you had in elementary school and, and drawing lines and making it into thirds one thing divided into three equal parts. I'm just doing the line between zero and one and dividing it into three equal parts. Okay, I did that. So again, this would be zero thirds. Zero is zero thirds. And this would be one third. And next would be two thirds. And then the one would be three-thirds because the numerator and denominator are the same. Now if you were in my class instead of watching the video you would have this number line in front of you and you would have cards that have these and you would be expected to work with a partner and put them on the number line but we don't have that luxury right now. Anyway so this is three-thirds this would be four-thirds and then five-thirds and this would be six-thirds now, these are improper fractions where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. And another way of saying four-thirds is one and one-third. Or one and two-thirds is the same as five-thirds. And then six-thirds, wouldn't that also be the same as one and three-thirds? 
If this is 1 and 1 third, 1 and 2 thirds, wouldn't that be 1 and 3 thirds? But that's kind of weird. And we know that 3 thirds is 1, so again, wouldn't that be 2? Now to find the opposite, the number that is on the opposite side of the number line, but the same distance as, as this one, here you have 1 third, so the opposite would be negative 1 third. And notice they have the same distance, they have the same absolute value, the same distance from 0, but they're on the opposite sides in the number line. Here's 2 thirds, so this would be negative 2 thirds, and this here would be negative 3 thirds, and that would be negative 1. This would be negative 4 thirds, and negative 5 thirds, and then negative 6 thirds. Negative 6 thirds is the exact same thing as saying negative 2. And these again are improper fractions. So if this is negative 1, this would be negative 1 and 1 third. And this would be negative 1 and 2 thirds. And this could be written as negative 1 and 3 thirds. Well, 3 thirds is 1, and negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. We're going to do it one last time, and I'm probably not going to do it again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and divide the line up into force. And this little rectangle divided into force is going to help me if I get it right. Okay, and then I'm going to put these numbers on the number line. Here's zero force. Here is one fourth. And here would be two force. Here would be three force. And here would be four force. Doesn't that look right? And isn't two force halfway between zero and one? So isn't two force the same as one half? and 4 fourths. Isn't that the same as 1? Now I'm going to do the opposites of these. That means it's going to have the same absolute value but on the opposite side of the number of 0. So the opposite of 1 fourth is going to be negative 1 fourth and then I would need negative 2 fourths, negative 3 fourths, and negative 4 fourths. Well, again, negative 2 fourths can be simplified to negative 1 half because 2 fourths is the same as 1 half. They are equivalent. You did great.